Well, I have some more journals. As you can tell, I am cleaning out all these journals that I've been making. And I've just been stockpiling them and looking at them and petting them. And oh, they're ready to go. Um, these are the ones that we made um, when I was doing one of my uh, monthly caboodle kits. Obviously, this was the Asian one. And I made several samples of what you could do with the contents of the kit. So these are the ones that I'm going to be putting up in my shop. And so I will go over these one by one. Now the structure of these two are the same. Um, one of them I obviously left it all a white. These are napkins that I put in the front. So I left it as is. This one I um, I put a um, stain, no, not a stain, a lacquer over it. And so um, you can see that it obviously uh, turned it translucent and you can see all the way through. So that's the difference in the fronts, but the construction um, is the same. And inside, <clears throat> just a variety of papers like I normally do, but all of these like the ones that I showed um, the other day, um, they um, um, are full of Asian papers of one way or another, either prints, the types of paper from books. You get the idea? <laughs> you get the idea? And I'm not going through every single page because <clears throat> we'll be here forever. Just giving you kind of a feel. If you saw the encaustic journals I posted the other day, it's uh, all the papers are all from the same stockpile I have. <laughs> All of my Asian books and calendars and things like that. I basically pulled from all the same resources. Um, this one has, we did a page that mimicked a screen. A Japanese screen, so there's that in there. And then each one, because, you know, I like to put a little bit of um, ephemera together, this particular style of journal is going to have one of these, and it's going to have some bits and pieces of ephemera in there. And that fits right here in the back. And that's that one. This one is um, pretty much the same. It's made the same. It's just that I did the napkin in a transparent way. And then some more of the papers. As we saw before. And here is the screen in this one, a little different. And this one also has its own little folder that has some ephemera in it that you can work with in your journal. Now the way the binding is done, it's just, it slips through. These, um, you can see it goes right through here. So you can, they can be permanent if you want in there or you can take them out and remove them. If there's pages you want to use to work with collage, you know, you could pull these out and glue them on other pages, however you see fit, you know, to use this journal. But it was a lot of fun to make, 
and um, I think I'll make some more. I like these a lot. When we did that same kit, we had this fabric. So I made um, this one. And um, this is more like an art journal. Now these foldouts were constructed the same as the other ones, but these are permanent. Those folders are, you know, just temporary. They can be moved, but um, let me move this out of the way. Oops. But um, this opens up well, it doesn't even fit in the full screen, but you get the idea. <laughs> And then I have stuff in there that you can play with in the journal. Now, the journal itself, like I say, is more like an art journal because all the pages inside are blank and they're of various weights. Um, I have various weights of um, mixed media paper and watercolor paper. So you can do whatever kind of form of art that you want to do. These also are removable, so you can pull them out. And if you work with mixed media or you like to work with a lot of, you know, wet um, types of, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? M media. <laughs> there you go. And um, that way you don't get everything all wet and dirty if you really want to go crazy and get it all wet and soaked up and everything. So you can pull it out and pull it back in. And then in the back, you have another one of these folders that are stationary. I threw in a couple of napkins in there. And so this is uh, a fun journal for those of you that like to draw or do mixed media or collage or you just want to turn it into a glue book whatever you choose this is a pretty cool one and then this one again was also made with the same kit I just used the fabric in a different way we had two types and see how that one is found and just put a piece of scrap fabrics that came also with the kit and made a little pocket and just stuck that in there. Here's just a little origami girl and papers. And again, you'll you'll recognize the batch of books that I pulled all these papers from. rice paper. A few of my eco prints are in this one. This is from um, a Japanese ledger. more napkins to play with. And these signatures are um, sewn in. And then in the back, Another one of these. This is a permanent one. So 
So lots and lots of surfaces to play with. Um, as usual, I forgot to give dimensions. I'm really bad at that. All right, so this is five and a half by eight and a half. And the spine is two inches. This one is six and a half by about seven and three quarter. And that's just under two inches. And then these are a little bit over four by just under eight. And the spine is a little over an inch. And that would be the same for both of these. So if you um, bought the kits or if you just follow my videos, when we made the kits, you know I've had these for what? A couple of months now. So you know the routine. They've been with me too long. And they want a permanent home. So um, I think that home needs to be with you.